How to control HMA VPN client externally with parameters. HMA VPN client supports getting run with parameters, this is useful if you want to let external applications change your IP. The client's executable HMA VPN.exe is located in the HMA VPN backslash bin folder. It can be run with parameters, e.g. from a.bat, bash, file, command prompt, from external applications that support running executables with parameters, etc. Possible parameters slash commands are, connect this will tell the client to connect to the VPN, using the currently set options in the client. Only works when the client is running already and disconnected. Disconnect this will let the client disconnect from the VPN. Only works if client is running and the VPN is connected. Change if this will let the client reconnect to the VPN, using currently set options in the client. It's possible to e.g. select a random server list, then the client will connect to a random server from that list instead of reconnecting to the same server. Both will change the VPN IP. Only works when the client is already connected. Creating a change if.bat file with notepad which contains the line e.g. c colon backslash program files x86 backslash hma vpn backslash bin backslash hma vpn dot exe change if running the commands from within the windows command prompt command exe scheduled ip change with task scheduler and cli commands on windows you can use the windows task scheduler to change ips in a set interval or certain times it can be found in the start menu dash programs dash accessories dash system tools dash task scheduler or by running task dot msc e.g. hit windows key plus r then enter task dot msc you can try to import this predefined task, HMA reconnect.xml, right click plus save as, then import via task scheduler, or you create the task yourself as explained below. One click create task. Two. As name enter e.g. HMA reconnect, then go to the triggers tab. Here in the triggers tab, click new. To create a new trigger. Three now it's time to enter the correct trigger settings, which are, begin the task, on the schedule. Settings, one time. Start. Only set a time here if you want the scheduled IP changing to start at a certain time. You can also manually start the reconnection instead. Repeat task every, enter how often the reconnection should happen, but do not use values below 30 seconds. This is not enough time for the VPN connection to establish a connection. Use eg 1 minute or 50 seconds. For a duration of, indefinitely. Stop task if runs longer than, should be unchecked. Enabled, must be checked. 4. Click OK. 5. In the Actions tab, click New. To create a new action. 6. In the new windows that has popped up now, select action, start the program. Program slash script, select the HMA VPN.exe file in the HMA folder, usually C colon backslash program files, x86, backslash HMA VPN backslash bin, add arguments, change it. 7. Click OK. 8. In the conditions tab, uncheck start the task only if the computer is on AC power if you have a notebook. 9. In the settings tab, Check allow task to be run on demand. Uncheck stop the task if it runs longer than. Then click OK. 10. In the task scheduler's main view, you should now find a newly created task in the list. Select it, then you can click on run to start the task. Equals activate scheduled IP change, this will keep letting the client reconnect until you end it. Equals disable scheduled IP change, alternatively edit the task again and set it to start at a specific time. Note, the reconnection slash IP change only starts once you're connected to the VPN service. It will not make the client establish the first connection.